Hello everyone, Amud here from your target common YouTube channel and this video will be continuation to Karate Framework playlist. We already know that Karate is a no code or low code API and UI automation framework. So basically they don't want you to write a lot of code. That's why they have given you some ready made things like fuzzy matchers which we are going to learn in this video. So let's think of a scenario. When you hit an API, we get a response and in that response, you might have some fields. So genic validation will be like this field should be present, another field should not be present or this value should be null or the type of value should be string, integer, and array, etc. So instead of writing the logic to validate those things, we have something fuzzy matchers in Karate Framework. So here are the fuzzy matchers provided by Karate Framework like has ignore, has null, has not null and so on. So we will see some examples of these fuzzy measures in today's video. Let's start with very simple example. Suppose I have a JSON object where I have two fields ID and DOB. ID is a string value but DOB is a number value. Suppose I want to assert the value of ID. So I can use the match keyword with the JSON path like this. Right hand side I am passing the expected value. Let me run this and show you the output. So here you can see scenario is passed but we don't know what kind of ID value will be there so we cannot hard code the value. So instead of that what I want to do I want to check ID should consist of a string value. Why string value? Because I am passing the value in double quotes. So I can write with the fuzzy matchers this time. Use the match joe.id double equal. To use the fuzzy matchers, we need to use quotes. Single quotes or double quotes. Whatever you want, you can use it. So single quotes, then use the has and give the string. It will say that ID field should consist of a value of type string. Let me run and show you. You can see this time scenario is passed. We have another matcher called number. Takes actual value to a number. Let me try number instead of string and see what happens. Let's see with this time fuzzy matchers work or not. So here you can see it is failing. It is saying that 1, 2, 3 is a string, right? And it cannot be a number. That's why the assertion is failing. I have taken two keys here. One with the string value, another integer value. That means if I use has number fuzzy matcher with the DOB, then it will pass. Let me show that. So here I am saying that DOB should be a number and here I will change to string. So it doesn't matter you have the integer value but you are passing into code. That's why number has converted to string. So now you can see assertion is passed. In fuzzy matches we have regex as well. So how to use that? Suppose I don't know what will be my ID value but I know that this should be a number and the length of this number should be three digit or four digit anything. So for that I can write fuzzy matches with regex. Let me show you that. Use the has and we have keyword called after that give the space and here I need to pass the regular expression. So what I want a number formed with 0 to 9 and the length of the number should be 3 digit. Let me run this and show you whether it is working or not. So here you can see assertion is passed. Instead of 3 I will do 4 means I am expecting a number of length 4. So let me run and show you the output. So if you go to console you can see it has failed because regex is not satisfied. We can rewrite this statement in little shorter form. I will change to 3 again. Since here we are mentioning that any number between 0 to 9. Basically I have included all the digits. So instead of writing this much I can use slash d. Since I need to escape the escape character so I need to use two slashes it is the same thing whatever we have written at line number 16 same thing we have written at line number 17 just in different format let me then and show you the output so here you can see test cases are passed but there is one trick what will happen if i try to write the regex for this dob let me copy this and change id to dob and here length will be 4 if i run this you will get an error so you can see it is showing that 1991 is not satisfying this one and if you see the left hand side we have number but right hand side we have a string if you see the karate official documentation for this regex it says that expects actual string value to match the regular expression. It is only working for string value. It does not work for the integer values or number values. I was expecting this should automatically convert the value to assert it but it is not. So if you want to apply the regex on the integer value or number values then you need to convert your left hand side value to string value. I need to use plus sign and append empty character. But here I need to put the parenthesis also. Then only the entire result will be converted to string. Let me run this time and you will see this time assertion will pass. So the test case is passed here. Let's see some other examples. So in the second example, I have a simple JSON object again where we have two keys and string values. I want to perform assertion like this name should be present 
and I want to ignore some field as well. If you see the karate official documentation, we have something has present, has not present, has null, has not null, has ignore. I want this key should be present so I can use has present and I can ignore this one so I can use has ignore and I can use the entire JSON object to assert with the actual response means here I can use the R match GO double equal use the triple double quotes and pass it will check okay name should be present because we are using the present we are not putting any validation on the value and here for the company I am simply ignoring it let me run so you can see test case is passed I remove this field this time name is not present in the actual JSON but in the matcher I am passing that name should be present if I run this time you can see it will fail because name is not present so here you can see actual does not contain key name let's see some validation based on array so in the third example we have a lengthy JSON actually it is nested we have simple ID name and matcher field but skills is an array if I want to check the skill should have a an array for that I can use fuzzy matchers for that I can use match then JSON response dot kills and I am expecting this should be an array so for that use has pass array let me run this so you can see assertion is passed we can rewrite the same statement in another way instead of mentioning the array we can use symbol as well and if you want to mention the size means an array should be present with a fixed length then I can use square bracket and use the length that is 2 let me run and show you the output so you can see assertion is passed let me change the length to 3 and if I rerun it will fail because we have only two values in the array so here you can see actual array length is 2 suppose you want to validate that this array should consist of only string values for that I need to use combination of fuzzy matchers like I can remove the size and here I need to use has a string it will say that this array should consist of string values only let me change it to 2 again and let me run it so you can see all the assertions are passed let me put a integer value and rerun this scenario this time it will fail because we have number values as well in the array so it is saying that actual array length is 3 because we have passing 2 here so let me change it to 3 and rerun it so go to console here you can see at second index we have not a string value so suppose you want to validate that at the first index or second index we have some specific value means you want to put the condition on indexed element means I want to check the first index the value is Java or the length of the first value is 4 for that also we can write the fuzzy matches with the condition so I need to use star match and same thing like json response.skills double equal use the single quotes or double quotes whatever you want has and don't use the square bracket here i want to pass the conditions so i will use has use the question mark space and it will give you the entire array so from that array i want to get the zeroth index element for that i need to use self -tar of javascript use the index means to use the index i need to use the square bracket use the index so this will give me the first element and here i can use the assertion like double equal it should be java since i need to hard code the java value so i need to pass into double quotes because this is a string value since we are using outer quotes as single quotes so internally i am using the double quotes so this expression says that take the zeroth index element from the array and assert whether it is java or not this is fuzzy matches with the condition let me run this program and show you the output you can see assertion is passed if i put java 1 then it should fail so here you can see it is failing because it is java 1 if you know javascript then actually you, we can write much better fuzzy matchers with the conditions this will give me a string because this is a string value so you can call any string methods of javascript we have a method length so use the length and you can assert that length value should be 4 this type of addition you can also do so change java 1 to java and Rerun. so you can see this time also assertion is passed so in the official documentation they are saying that we have something called optional field if two cross hash symbols are used as the prefix for example hash has number it means that the key is optional or the value can be null geo dot name double equal single quote has has string we have the name key in this but it will ignore because optional means it is not bothering whether you have or not so let me run this scenario so you can see scenario is passed i simply put 
number here let me run this scenario and you can see this is failed it is saying that not a number so if you want to use two hash then make sure that you are passing the correct type of the value if it is some different type then assertion will fail instead of confusing with the two hash pattern we can use ignore let me run this scenario and you can see test case is passed i will remove the field itself what do you think what will happen this time let me run so this time also test case is passed because we are using hash ignore so it is simply ignoring the key if i use null instead of ignore what will happen this time obviously it will fail because this time i am not saying that ignore i am saying that value should be null but field should be present what will happen if i use the not null run the scenario so this time also scenario is failed because we are saying that key should be present but value should be not null it can be any value but it should not be null value so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone